Hey everyone, I'm Sarah, Marlena, and this is Fisher Price Ranch. Uh, first off, please don't forget to subscribe. So today we are going to be drawing blood on our girls. We're just doing some r routine pregnancy checks, but I thought I would do a new video. Yep, seven girls. Fingers are crossed. Hopefully they're all pregnant. Uh, this was kind of a these weird all one. Be pregnant. <laughs> I actually gave these girls all hormone injections to get them all to go into heat at the exact same time, and then I never saw anything, which when you give them a hormone injection, they're going to go into heat no matter what. So this is very strange. So that's why we're doing these pregnancy checks. But we're going to show you guys um, how we're drawing blood and where we're sending them off to. We have switched lab. So it is ubrl.org. Um, we've used these guys twice now. Um, we like them. Really love them. They notify you when they re have received your blood samples. They notify you um, of your test results. If there's anything uncertain, like it was a bad result, the blood was warm when it showed up, whatever reason, they actually call you and talk to you and ask for history on the goats to find out and figure out what actually happened with the testing. And so they're really, really good. They're, um, they're awesome. Anyway, so we got syringes. You want one for each goat. You do not want to reuse any of these. And then we have our red top tubes. They're pre-labeled with each goat's name. And then we have our submission forms. I don't know where this thing is. Oh, nope, it's not showing you the name. Sorry, I tried. Uh, here's a submission form. And you fill it all out the way it asks for you to. Um, so let's get started. So here's all the girls. I'm running every time we come in. They absolutely do. They're spoiled rotten. And just a reminder, we do have kids due in less, just under three weeks. We have Marsala that's due and Tipsy that's due for kids. Look at Marsala starting to do the baby waddle. <laughs> So we'll just start with the first goat. Uh, I believe we can do capers right here or Sabrina, either one. Okay. All right, so the best way to hold a goat when you're drawing blood, if you don't have a stand, we do have a stand, but we're going to do it this way because it's a little bit faster, um, is you're going to straddle the goat. Somebody straddles the goat, holds the horns, and then we'll go in and draw the blood. All right, so we're going to draw blood on capers here. Now the way you do it is uh, you'll see her esophagus right here. And you're going to uh, feel her esophagus. You're going to go over. You're going to just kind of roll off of it. Um, if you want, you can go down low. Easy. Hey, peppermint. Oh. Sorry, guys. All right. So anyway, you, you're going to go from the esophagus, go over about an inch. And you're going to, I usually do the lower part of the neck. That way I have all this space to work. And I'm going to put pressure. And if you guys can see that, this is her vein right here. So when you put pressure, that vein pops out. You guys see that? Um, to know for sure, you can just bounce your finger off of it. You don't want to push on it, but you can just bounce it. You can feel that that has a little pressure in it. Sorry, I was getting hailed. So now we're going to go in an upward angle. Easy. And sometimes that'll happen. Easy, girl. Easy. Sorry, guys. And you're going to draw back. And you need about two... I usually do two and a half cc's for a good measure. Put pressure where the needle is, pull it out, and you just wait a moment. And that's how you draw blood. We'll let her go. <laughs> All right, so here's another goat. We're just gonna go down the esophagus, move over a little bit, push down, and that vein pops right out. And then we're just gonna go up at an angle and draw down. Excuse you. You're going to burp in my face? Thank you. It's okay. Calliope was pooping behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So up close, here's the esophagus. Move over. And then just when I push, watch right in here. See how that vein just popped right out? Oh. Good girl, Truffles. Good girl. Good girl. And she's all done. All right, here's another one. Easy, girl. Hold on, Sabrina. Easy, babe. Are you close enough? You got it? Yep. All right, here's the esophagus. You can actually already kind of see her vein popping out. But when you push on it, it really pops out. Annie, go away. Annie's sniffing the camera. All right, she's done. All right, you guys, so I hope that that was helpful. Uh, give you guys a, 
a little bit of variety on different goats on how they act when you draw blood. Um, it's a little bit of a hard time to catch some of the wild girls, but we got it done. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.